Now, the next flyer that's been really effective for me this uh, this season, particularly abroad, has been uh, this fly, and it's just a uh, again, it's a bubble wing CDC and uh, an elk or deer hair, but it has a little bit of a, uh, a pink sighter, um, which is like an arrowing type uh, material over the top, and particularly uh, on some of those high alpine streams in the in Austria, where the light was very low, very bright sunshine, and. Uh, uh, the surface of the water was quite broken. They, that little bit of uh, of pink was the, uh, the 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 easiest colour that we came across that uh, uh, that we could actually see. So, this uh, this is just a a falling mill, um, just a barbless black dry dry fly hook. I honestly don't really think it makes any great difference what the uh, uh, the hook actually is. CDC for the body and the wing, deer hair for the overwing. And the sighter is uh, this uh, Soldarini uh, parachute post. This one is in pink, and this is the most um, sort of uh, the brightest coloured um, uh, pink post that I've ever come across. It really does show up. Uh, it's almost fluoresces from the inside of the fibres. Uh, black nano silk. I'll put a bit of wax on here just because it's uh, it's too slippery otherwise. And again, take that down to the end of the hook shank. Got my four CDC feathers again all lined up with the lowest quality one on the top. I'll just offer those up. Pull them into somewhere close, close to the tips. Do that again. Interesting. I'll just come back and do that again because I think they just rotated around the hook shank there. So this is a one take video. All of my videos are single takes. Warts and all. There you go. That's a nice scruffy body. That should hold them in place. That's okay. And again, leaving myself a good three millimeters um, at the head for the uh, uh, for the head, the wing, and the little sighter. And again, just wrapping the top CDC feather for the body, CDC body, try and trap in as many of those CDC fibers as I can. Wrap these over. Another way of actually um, uh, wrapping these, uh, creating these bubbles, is to pull the the bubble all the way, and then pull it back with a bodkin or a, uh, a whip finish tool or a pin or whatever. You can even tie it down and then pull it through as long as you don't tie it down too tightly. Whatever works best for you. Back to where I want the wing to be. Okay, I've already cleaned and stacked the, uh, the deer hair. Don't have any broken ones that I don't want. And again, which I've got a bit too much deer hair there, I'll just Strip some of that out, restack it. Better. Just about to the end of the uh, of the bubble, I wrap around the deer hair, once around the hook shank. Pull fairly tight, and again, you've got to be a bit careful with the nano silk. You see, it's actually cutting through some of those fibres, which is fine as long as it's not so uh, not cut through the uh, the main uh, the main wing. Then I would pull up the all of those fibres. 
and this time cut them a little bit closer to the shank just to because I'm going to put a, a little bit of overwing in, in here. So one single strand of the pink solderini. All I need is a couple of turns around the eye, straight back to where the wing starts, fold both of those back, a couple of wraps there. It's very similar to the, uh, uh, the to a balloon caddis, just using um, um, uh, using a uh, an aero wing type material rather than using the yellow foam, which I say in the light of the high alpine streams this shows much better and then just trim this post off to the, the length that you want probably better actually to leave it long and trim it back a bit further at the, uh, the riverside if you want and that is a, a super effective fly um, for those low light or difficult light con uh, conditions it shows up absolutely fantastically well